Hello, my dear students and viewers. Welcome to my channel, Scorpio Class. If you are looking for Class 10 Social Studies Notes of the Revised Syllabus 2022, then you are on the right platform and you are watching the right video. As we are going to discuss Class 10 Geography Chapters Question and Answers in this video. And we are going to discuss the question and answers of the lesson India Geographical Position and Physical Features. So this video is going to provide you the entire notes of this chapter and it's going to be very helpful and informative for you all. So stay tuned till end and do not miss any part of it. And yes, my friends, if you want notes of all the other chapters of social studies, you can visit the description box and find the playlist link and you will find all the notes over there. The link will also be shared in the i button above. Now let's get started but before that if you are new to my channel and watching my video for the first time do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the latest videos. Let's get started with the first main. We have fill in the blanks with suitable words. First one. The name India is derived from the river Dash as it is Indus. The total area of India is dash square kilometers and it is 32 lakh 87,263 square kilometers. Next, in the central part of India dash north latitude passes and it is Tropic of Cancer or 23 degree. Next, the country lies to the south of India is dash Answer is Sri Lanka. Next, India has a coastal line of dash kilometers. Answer is 6100. Next, India is divided into dash major divisions. Answer is four major divisions. Next, Greater, Greater Himalaya is also called dash. Answer is Himadri. Next, the highest mountain peak in the world is Dash. Answer is Himalayan. Next, the North Indian plain is made up of Dash soil. Answer is alluvial soil. Next, the Western Ghats in Karnataka are also called Dash. Answer is Sahadri. So these were the fill in the blanks. Now let's move to the next main that is answer the following questions. First question, in which part of the Asian continent is India situated? Answer, India is a peninsula located in Southeast Asia. The country is entirely in the Northern Hemisphere. Next in which hemisphere of the earth is India located? So this question is a bit repeated. So you have the same answer. Answer is the country is entirely in the northern hemisphere. Okay, separate question is asked. Where in which hemisphere is the India located? It is located in the northern hemisphere. Next question. Which is the southern tip of mainland of India? Answer. The southern tip of mainland of India is located in the Great Nicobar Island. This is called Indira Point. Next question. Which is the southernmost point of mainland of India? Answer. Kanyakumari is the southernmost point of mainland of India. Next question. Which is the important latitude that passes through central India? Answer, the Tropic of Cancer or 23 degree north latitude passes through the central part of India. Next question, in which island is Indira Point located? Answer, it is located in the Great Nicobar Islands. Next, what is the other name for the foothills of the Himalayas? Answer, Siwalik Mountains is the other name for the foothills of the Himalayas. Next question. Which is the recently formed landmass in India? Answer. Siwalik Range is the recently formed landmass in India. 
Next question. What are the advantages of Himalayas? Answer. The advantages of Himalayas are the Himalayan mountains have influenced the life of Indians to a great extent. They provide protection to India by obstructing the cold winds from the Siberian regions. They are birthplace of many rivers. They facilitate hydroelectric power generation. They are the home to many types of plants and animals. They are a great treasure house of minerals and are also significant for tourism and religious centers. Next question. Explain the extent of Peninsular Plateau. Answer. The Peninsular Plateau stretches from the south of the Sutlej Ganga Plain up to the Indian Ocean in the south. Its total area is around 16 lakh square kilometers. It stretches from the Aravali Mountains in the north to Kanyakumari in the south. It extends approximately 1400 kilometers from the western part in the west to the Rajmahal Hills of Jharkhand in the east. Next question. Write about the Siwalik Range. Answer. These hills are the most recent formations and are located in the southern part. They have lesser height. They are also called the foothills of the Himalayas. These hills have narrow strips of plains or valleys which are called dunes. For example, Dehra Dune, Kota, Patli, Chokamba, Udampur and Kotli. These are about 600-1500 meters above the sea level. Next, the northern plains are called deposited plains. Why? Answer, the northern plains has the least variation in height and is completely flat. The entire plain is formed by the deposition of alluvial soils brought by the rivers which rises in the Himalayas. Thus, the northern plains are called deposited plains. Next question, mention the differences between western and eastern Ghats. Answer, the differences between Western and Eastern Ghats. Let's see Western Ghats. To the west of the Deccan Plateau, there are the Western Ghats. In Maharashtra and Karnataka, these are referred to as Sayadri. Anamudai Peak is 2665 meters in Anamalai Range is the highest peak in South India. Eastern Ghats. To the east of the Deccan Plateau, there are the Eastern Ghats. They meet the Western Ghats in the Nilgiri Hills. The Eastern Ghats are not very high or continuous. In the Eastern Ghats, Almakonda and Mahendragiri are the highest peaks. These Ghats are separated by river valleys here and there. So these were the differences between Western and the Eastern Ghats. Now, with this question answers, we come to an end with the notes of this entire chapter. I hope these answers were helpful and informative for you all. If you found the video informative and helpful and if you liked it, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.